Well, the drought in central Iowa is getting worse. Des Moines is nearly seven and a half inches under for rainfall this point in the year. Iowa's largest water provider is asking customers to cut back on using water. Des Moines Water Works wants residents in the city to reduce watering their yards by 25%. Folks could water less of their lawn, perhaps just the front yard and not the back. If they're watering three days a week, they could cut back to two days a week or shorten the duration. Beyond that, uh, we're not asking people to do more, but it could get to the point where we need to. Suburbs around Des Moines also use its water supply like West Des Moines and Urbandale, creating a ripple effect of reductions across the metro. For instance, the Urbandale water utility is also calling for a 25% voluntary reduction in watering the yard. They say that will help get them over this hump. If that doesn't happen, there are other triggers in place. If we went to a mandatory situation, it would uh, basically be us monitoring if we've seen uh, abuses that we're not adhering to that. We could be monitoring metering consumption, uh, some various avenues, perhaps even people calling and saying, hey, my neighbor's not doing that. We have never gotten to that stage. Hopefully we never will. And Brandon Atchison noticed there that Urbandale has another stage uh, before making reductions mandatory, okay, wow. where you have to follow that. Stage two would be a voluntary reduction of 50%, and that would be any outside watering, not just the yard. And of course, they have access to the forecast, too, sure. so they're looking not only what's happening now, but what's to come. And if we don't get rain soon, and not just a little bit of rain, but steady rain, right. soaking rain, yep. things are only going to worsen. Let me show you what we have as far as drought conditions right now. That moderate drought is now covering nearly 50% of the state. It includes Des Moines, it includes Ames, Fort Dodge, it extends all the way up into north central Iowa, and the dry conditions are now over nearly 90% of the state. The river levels are pretty low. The Des Moines River at Southeast 6th, for example, is only just over 10 feet. Flood stage, for some reference, is 24 feet, so we are so far away from that. We're also seeing really low levels at the Skunk River in Ames, the Des Moines River in Fort Dodge, and of course, the one that we've been talking about the most here, which is the Raccoon River there at Fleur Drive. The chance of rain over the next two days is none. On Thursday, we've got at least a shot to see some morning and afternoon scattered thunderstorms, but until then, it's bone dry. We've got tons of sunshine out there. The high clouds have started to clear out. Nothing of note anywhere in our region, and that's concerning because we really need bigger systems to come through in order to get that rain. 87, where we sit right now, the rest of tonight looks quiet, clear. Temperatures fall back into the 70s by 10 and 11 o'clock. We've got more hot weather on the way, too, and we could see yet again the hottest day so far this year by the time we get to Thursday. All right, Brandon, thank you. During droughts just like this, irrigation systems are vital to keeping crops alive. Iowa is eighth in the country when it comes to having the most irrigated farmland. That is according to a 2017 Census of Agriculture. More than 800 Iowa farmers rely on irrigation, and it isn't cheap. It costs more than $2.2 million to pump well and surface water for all of these farms each year. Farmers who don't use a well buy their water from other sources, and that costs about 400000 a year. Now, the city of Des Moines has a schedule of when they would like residents to water. You can find that at our website, weareiowa.com.